we're getting ready for Dinagyong. And as you can see by the feathers on this poor little hat, they're all bent over funny. Because it's like two years old. And they only cost like, I don't know, 150 pesos or something. They're like two or three dollars. I think it's time to buy a new one. Looks kind of cute up on the shelf, but you know, up close the feathers are all pointing the wrong direction. Such is life. Anyway, we're packing, so let me turn this camera around and we'll see what's going on. So we're getting ready to go. I'll be wearing some of the things and carrying some. It's kind of obvious. Clothes get worn, papers get carried. But I got to explain it to you. I'm taking a small bag each. They do say specifically no backpacks allowed. But our hotel is inside the security zone and they got to let us at least take something. So we're taking some small bags. We are staying at the Ong Bun Pension House. It's very near Robinson's Mall, downtown Iloilo. Like many places downtown, the entrance is on the second floor. Uh, I've never stayed here, but I've heard good things from other expats. They say it's, you know, small but decent. It gets you a, a night pretty cheap. Uh, before we go in, we're going to show you this little narrow staircase. It goes down to the street. His stores are underneath on the first floor. That's very common here. Apartments and hotels in a lot of areas start on the second floor. We are on the third floor. First glance coming up the stairs, there is no elevator. Um, everything's clean. So, I mean, as cheap as this place is, I wasn't sure. So we're going to come in and the room is shockingly, jokingly small. Bathroom's not bad. There is no water heater. There's a shower head, but it's so high up it's not in the picture. Small bathroom, but serviceable. The room is tiny. There's that little yellow shelf. There's the bed. And then there's this little desk thing that folds out from the wall. And you have to sit on the bed to use it. I used it as a night table. Good news is... The air conditioner does not have to work very hard. This room gets crazy cold. And because it's an interior room, there are no windows. It is going to be quiet. We won't hear any of the festival noise. And it's going to be proper dark. The building is bigger than it looks. It is five stories and there are 100 rooms. That just seems crazy to me. The hotels put out tables and chairs because everybody's getting into the act at Dinagong. They don't have a restaurant or anything, but they're not passing up their chance. It's all stores on the first floor. The hotel is up there, and there's a tiny stairway going up. It's too dark to see it. We stayed for two nights. The prices are a little higher during Dinagong, but their prices are very reasonable. It's clean, it's well-maintained, I gotta say, it's a tiny room, but it's a decent place. If you need a night or two real quick, this will do you. It's nothing fancy, but, you know, clean, air-conditioned, quiet, cheap, right downtown. Counts for a lot. Um, I could easily see us staying here again. Now let's go check out the Denigang dancing. Enjoy your day in paradise. <laughs> 